Hello, this is Effie Zelda World 12345, and welcome back to Let's Play Ninja Gaiden. Let's see if we can find a way back up after going through that trapdoor. Ah, uh, Ryu. I don't think there's anything important in, in that candle back there. And now we have a new enemy. I don't know what they're called, but basically you want to let them come to you and strike at the right time. It's something that takes practice. And that guy's a new enemy too. He throws some sort of scythe boomerang thing, and the windmill shuriken is the best weapon to use on him. Mainly because not only is his attack powerful, but he can take two sword strikes to kill. Okay, let's get some distance. I hope you've been practicing wall jumping. Okay, now time I jump. I have no idea how I missed that guy. Okay, if you didn't get why the birds were annoying before, this is how. And yes, you just saw that enemy he can keep on falling multiple times. I don't know what they were thinking. These turrets are easy to kill, but like every other enemy, they respawn. How did it just turn like that? That'd be pretty convenient to have. And unfortunately, I'm low on health for this area. Okay, I killed that bird. That would have one-shotted me. And thankfully, there's more health. Now, there are two ways to get past this obstacle. Either you can expose a glitch to wall jump over the wall, or just a wall jump like this. I strongly recommend against you using the wall jump glitch if you're low on health because chances are you will be hit by that white bird. I like how they're using some of the cutscene music for the stages. Okay, up here is... yeah, fire. We definitely need the flame wheel for this part because now we have to deal with these guys. They will just constantly throw shuriken at you until the screen is filled with them. Okay, I'm not sure if this is an important uh, game. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. I'm not sure how I'm going to make this. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I'm going to make it. Nope. Okay, this time I'll make sure to get the shuriken. Okay. Now let's go slowly. Attack this guy. I forgot if this cannot is anything important. Ah, crap! I really needed to save that. Uh, that was a one-up I just got there, the only other one in the game. Uh, that invincibility would have been really helpful here. See what I mean? Okay, I'll try this the hard way. Wow, that was enormously easier than I thought it'd be. Yeah, you can jump over that guy, it's just difficult. You need really good timing.
Wait, what just happened? My shuriken passed right through them. Okay. Okay, if you're low on energy and don't have an appropriate item like I do, don't worry. You don't need items for this fight. Oh, a boss introduction. Yeah, that wouldn't be too surprising. Okay, here we go. This boss is very difficult if you don't know how he works. Otherwise, it's pretty easy. It's just an endurance run against a projectile that's extremely difficult to dodge. Just keep on attacking, let him hit you. That's all there is to it. Can I wall jump? Oh yeah, I can. Yeah! Where did that come from? Seriously, there were no signs saying that Mouth is the guy that killed Ryu's father. Or at least fought him. Okay. 